Welcome back to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, I'll give you a brief walkthrough on how to create a custom render name using the Name Templates feature available in 9.1. Name templates become really useful when you're outputting a batch of images from a scene with multiple model sets, environments, cameras, and more. This specific naming process will make it easier to find variants of your renders when searching for them within a folder. This file I have open here is prepared with different model sets, cameras, and environments. So I'm going to set up a queue with several different renders from the scene. First, I'm going to add a name. I'll call this Keyshot Bottle. And now I'm going to create a custom name template by navigating to the dropdown and selecting Custom. A second dialog will open, and this is where you can get really specific with your render name. Here, you will be given a preview of the name you're creating. So right now, mine starts off with Keyshot Bottle as well as the global revision number, which is currently selected in this dropdown. Now you do have the ability to change this dropdown to any of the variables listed below, as well as add as many variables as you'd like to the render name by clicking the plus button. So for example, I want to include the active model set, active camera, and active environment in this custom name template. You can see in the preview how this is going to look. And based on that, let's say I actually want the active environment first. I can click here and drag that to the top. I also want to include the date. And right here, you can change the format. I'm going to switch to the more condensed version with the shortened year. You can also switch the internal separator within the current date variable, as well as within the active model set variable. And that is reflected in the preview. There's also the option to change the global separator, which separates all of these variables. I'm going to choose this one, and that again will be reflected in the preview. I think I'm going to be using this name template a lot, so I'm going to save it and call it Model Camera Environment. So as you can see, the render name will be Keyshot Bottle, Blue Environment, Color Study, Front View, and the date. And I'll add that to the queue. Now I want to switch things up and change to my hero shot model set, the hero camera, and the white environment. I'll open the render dialog again, and because I have the model, camera, environment name template selected, all of those changes I just made are reflected in the preview and will be applied to my render name. I'll click add to queue, and now I will render these out. This is the folder they've been saved to. The names are correct and super specific thanks to that custom name template and now it'll be really easy for me to find exactly what I'm looking for. So make sure to check out name templates. It will save you a lot of time and help you keep everything organized. Thanks for watching this Keyshot Quick Tip. Let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your friends.